Hi guys, the time has come for probably one of the videos that I've been most excited to do just to be able to see the growth because quarter one savings update was so mind-blowing to me. Honestly, it blew my expectations so I'm really excited to see what I've been able to do from March to June. I just finished setting up my spread so I can track all of the amounts as we count them. If you are unfamiliar with what I'm actually talking about, I will link quarter one saving update here so you guys can see how much I was able to save from the start of the year up until March, which is considered the first quarter of the year. And now that we are um, finishing up the second quarter of the year, I wanted to do the same thing just so I can kind of check in every quarter of the year versus just from the start to the end and to see the growth or the decrease in my savings and all that kind of thing. Here is, I didn't want to show the total because I actually want you guys to go check out the video, but this is quarter one's breakdown and today we are going to be doing quarter two. So what I'm going to do is put this off to the side here trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this or actually okay I'm gonna keep it off to the side here here is my sinking fun binder and I have a I have two ways that I currently save I have my actual sinking fun cash envelopes which are in here and then I have my savings accounts I currently have an emergency fund and um a house down payment and I also have my car down payment in well my car savings in an account as well aside from what I'm saving in cash so with that being said let's open her up and let's get started so what I'm gonna do is count them individually track them here and then I'm gonna put all the cash here so we could count the cash together so in my boyfriend's sinking fund we currently have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. We have 290 in my boyfriend's sinking fund. I This sinking fund specifically is for in case I want to get him anything, but also like it would cover um, his birthday present, anniversary, um, any gift like we are going to be graduating at the end of the summer so i'm going to be getting him some type of graduation present any type of thing that i want to treat him to will come out of his envelope we have built it up to 290 which is great as i mentioned i have money set aside in my actual I have money in my actual account saving for a car and this would be considered now what I'm saving for is car maintenance if that makes sense. So we currently have one, two, two fifty in car in cash. Okay. Christmas has a hundred, two hundred, twenty, forty. 240 in Christmas. Gifts is probably the one that has the least, I think. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 16 in gifts. That is one revolving sinking fund as I have been using it. I have been stuffing it, but also using it like crazy throughout this year. But I'm just very grateful that I actually have this fund overall. My personal sinking fund has 100, 10, 15, 115. Then we have travel, which currently has 1, 2, 3, 24. 40, 60, 75, 6, nope, 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 let's start that over, 100, 200, 320, 40, 60, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 375 in travel, and then we actually hop into move out, 
and this has one, two, three, four, five hundred in move out. And last one that is considered a sinking fund is my dollar savings which I don't think I've ever actually counted on camera for you guys. I tried so hard to save, like to keep the dollars, but then whenever I've needed change, I've had to use the dollar bills in here to do so. So sadly, $40 of it that were originally ones have been changed over to bigger bills. But I have saved all of the ones. They were originally all ones when they first made it into this envelope. But we currently have 20, 30, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five. So we currently have sixty-five dollars in my dollar savings, which is a challenge that I started, but. Um, at the beginning of the year and it's kind of changed a little bit just because the way I budget now is a little bit different but I still have been able to contribute throughout from March to June so I know that that definitely has gone up okay, so now that I just finished checking what I actually had in those accounts in my emergency fund I have $1,901 and my house down payment currently has $602.70.71. And then my car savings has $5,500. So, before we add this up, I want to count how much we have physically in cash, which I think is just a fun thing to do. I know I could just add these totals up but if we have the cash here, why not organize it? Why not get a good feel physically of what we got going on in cash? So let's go ahead and switch these over. Okay, so before I actually count it, I want you guys, similar to the first video, to let me know down below how much you think we have physically in cash. Pause the video for a second, give me your guess down below, and we'll hop into it. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, six hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, seven hundred, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, five. 786 dollars what that's so awesome so with that being said you know what i just realized i also didn't even add in which i forgot the 65 from my dollar savings challenge so in cash we actually have so it was it was 1,786 plus 65, 
we have in cash for my sinking funds a total of one thousand eight hundred and fifty one dollars in cash and i want to add up to see how much i actually have saved overall and all of my savings across the board so let's hop right into that i'm really excited i'm very anxious i feel like it's going to be a number that i'm not going to be able to process in my brain We have a total, I, well, $9,855.41. $9,855.41. This is just savings. This is just money that I've been able to save. That is the most money I have ever saved in my life. I just need to take a minute to like process this because I have $9,855. dollars $9,855. $9,855. What? I am so close to the $10,000 mark in savings. That is crazy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't deserve it. And I'm forever eternally grateful for you being able to open up doors in my life to be so that I can raise my income and use these methods use the knowledge that i've obtained and truly test the growth that i've had throughout my financial journey so that i can apply what i've learned when i had barely nothing in my account to now having a surplus and i can't believe how far you you've allowed me to go within this and i am eternally grateful i had such a strong desire and fear at the same time I had a fear that I would end up being in the same financial circumstance as those around me. And it motivated me at the beginning of this journey to truly learn as much as I could so that I can change the narrative, so that I can change what I see around me and be a difference for the future before me and hopefully the kids to come. And I'm at all because the glory belongs to God at the end of the day because this would not be possible without him. And I am in shock. I am in shock. Oh my goodness. So I want to know how much I'm off for the 10000 140 basically $145 and I'll reach the 10k mark in savings sheesh okay now that we know how much I've saved so far in quarter two it's only right to kind of see the difference from quarter one to quarter two so Quarter one total was four thousand sixty two dollars and fifty five. So $5,792.86. That has been the increase from quarter one's total to where I'm at in quarter two. That is so crazy. Like, literally, I'm having the exact same, like, OMG moment that I had in my quarter one savings update. And it's just crazy. Like, what the heck? 
hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want i'll leave the in the cards quarter one savings update so you guys can check out to see how i started off and i'm really excited to see what quarter three has in store so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye don't forget to subscribe